I'm Kimberly Edwards from cookingwithkimberly.com and tonight I'm going to show you how to roast a smoked paprika chicken. Doesn't that sound stupid? It's going to be a smoked paprika rub. Okay, and then I'm going to roast it. So I got to make this rub. I have to get my paprikas out. Now, La Chinata is a beautiful smoked paprika powder. They have three different varieties. This is the sweet, they have a bittersweet, they all look the same. Hot and a bittersweet. Delicious. Bang for your buck is like through the roof. I'm telling you, this stuff is serious. So delicious, you'll be craving it like crazy. Now, I've made myself a rice stuffing. That's what I'm going to use to stuff my bird. I haven't stuffed it yet. That's what I need to do. But I'm going to show you guys how to make this rub that I'm going to use. I'm just kind of winging it, so here we go. I have a little bowl so I can mix everything in properly. I'm going to use some of that, my sweet paprika powder, my smoked paprika powder, and a little bit of the hot variety tonight. The bittersweet is going to sit on my counter this evening. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> All right, so into this rub, I'm using it for a whole chicken. So I'm going to use probably the rest of this canister, which makes me very sad, but I have a replacement, so we're good. So I'm gonna use about a teaspoon of this. Okay, put together, that's about a teaspoon. And then I'm going to use about a half a teaspoon of the hot variety. Now this stuff is seriously hot. Maybe I'll use a quarter teaspoon. Quarter teaspoon into my bowl. It's actually a slightly different color as well. Next, I need some real pepper. Normal pepper, right? Not really normal. We're gonna use some beautiful cam pot pepper. This is a red cam pot peppercorn from Cambodia. You can check these guys out online at campot-pepper.asia. That should be at the bottom of your screen right now. And I'm going to roughly crack up about a dozen of them. Just oddball it. I want a nice, um, I'm gonna make it a little bit more fine than I usually would. I like things very chunky when it's cracked pepper, but I'm going to, to um, totally infuse this chicken with flavor. So I want it to be a little bit more ground up. It's just gonna be much fresher. So there we go into my bowl. I'm gonna use a little bit of salt. Let's grab one. We're gonna use this Brittany Gray sea salt today. It just happens to be the one that uh, stood out to me. This is a Drogaria spice grinder. They have fabulous salts and peppers. They have chilies even and garlic and stuff. Beautiful stuff. So I'm just gonna grind some of that in here. Some nice, nice pepper or salt. Eyeball it. What you would put on a, on a chicken, right? There we go. A little bit of that, a little bit of that. I'm going to put like a half a teaspoon, maybe a quarter teaspoon of plain granulated sugar. Check out my beautiful sugar bowl. I got it from fromrussia.com. Check them out. It was my birthday gift from them. How sweet is that? I love you guys. Thank you, Max and Natasha. You're the bomb out there. Brighton City, New Jersey. Little Russia. All right, so that's a little bit of sugar, and you're gonna see what a great job that's gonna do just spicing things up, okay? So we're gonna just mix this up. That looks good. Now, if you wanna put some garlic in there, feel free. If you wanna put some onion powder, go ahead, feel free. But I think I'm pretty satisfied with what's going on in here. Right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna baste this with some bacon fat, this nice chicken, and I need to cut, it came a trust which means the legs are, are all pulled together, everything's being held tightly together. And that's great if you wanna roast it like that, but I wanna stuff it, so I gotta be able to get in there. So here's some bacon fat. I like to keep mine after I, I cook bacon in the mornings, right? So what I do is I keep it in a nice little bowl. If you're gonna use it with a basting brush, for this kind of purpose for chicken, then make sure that you're using it in a different bowl so that you don't contaminate the rest of your stash of bacon fat for flavor. Bacon fat just has lots of flavor. Now you can use butter if you want to, you can go ahead and use olive oil if you want to, but I find that the bacon fat, it just really browns up nicely. It roasts everything up gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So, and it has that little bit of bacon fat that you just didn't know. You didn't even have to eat the bacon. You don't even know where that beautiful flavor is coming from or maybe what it, even what it is. You just know that it's tasty. Now make sure you, you get some in the cavity if you have any left, because that's tasty too. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Don't skimp, okay? Make sure it's nice and lubricated up. Now, do check out my um, 
my recipe for the savory stuffing that I did on, on the webisode for cooking like alpha beta pie tonight. It's a savory rice stuffing. Uh, make sure you check that out or any of my poultry stuffing recipes so that you can stuff this bird or just throw it in just like that. You don't have to stuff a bird if you don't want to, okay? Now use some of that bacon fat. I already got rid of my whole container, so I'm gonna use a little bit of spray at the bottom of my baking dish. Next, I'm gonna stuff this bird. Now the best way to do this is with your hands, unfortunately. You just have to know that you're gonna get your hands dirty, and that's the way, the way it is. All right, so in with my chicken. Use your hands, stuff it in there as tightly as you can. Make sure that you get as much in there as you can, and put this on my proper side. Make it easy for me. Again, your hands are the best. You can use, you can use a spoon if you want to, but it, you're gonna be frustrated eventually here. So go ahead and use your hands, just buck up, buttercup. It'll be all right. Now all you need is a little bit of stuffing just to serve three or four people. It really isn't a lot. It's going to get power packed with some great chicken flavor as this bad boy roasts up. I'm not mad at this. <laughs> it's a messy business. Make sure when you're using chicken, you clean your hands incessantly. Make sure you're washing them, don't touch anything else. Um, you don't want that raw chicken because it could carry salmonella and make everyone kind of sick. No one wants that, okay? So wash any surface that that chicken touched or anything that you are about to touch. You need to wash those hands, baby. All right, that's all my rice. Now, these, this chicken that came with this beautiful extra side of skin that I need, and I'm just going to throw that in there so that it holds everything in. As you can see, everything's held in nicely. Washing my hands. Now, I've got this great rub. I've, my, my oven is actually already on. I'm making dessert too as we speak. So make sure you check out that recipe for making rhubarb mouse in these great clayware pots. They're beautiful, beautiful things, okay? Now, um, I'm going to just cover this chicken in this gorgeous spice. Now this made about, I don't know, a tablespoon and a half, two tablespoons of seasoning. You don't need a whole lot. I'm not like, dredging this thing in my rub but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure it's nicely coated and I'm going to rub it in okay I want to make sure that it is coated well I'm gonna roast my bird upside down from what everyone else does I like my birds to be moist in the breast because they tend to get dried out and the reason is is because you know they're uh, on the top and they just seem to get dry so if you roast it upside down then you don't have that issue. Now I'm just pushing this rub in because it's just getting absorbed. I don't want to move it around because it seems to be coming off. So we're just going to push it on. Let's do that other side. All prepared. Coat that all up nice. That's going to make that skin so flavorful and tasty. You're going to love this, I promise. You're going to see what a beautiful job this will do. And the colors. Mm. Your kitchen, your household is going to smell Unbelievable, watch. So, there we go. There's my seasoning all over top. I'm gonna wash my hands again. Now, into my oven it's gonna go. I'm going to let this roast on a higher temperature for about mm, 10 minutes at about 400, okay? I don't wanna go higher than that. Sometimes I go up to like 475 or 500, as high as my oven will go, and I'll let that thing go for like five minutes, especially when it's a turkey for Christmas or something like that. But this has a lot of spices on it, and they can burn, and I don't want them to burn. So I'm gonna actually keep my eyeballs on it. I'm gonna set my timer for five minutes, and I'm gonna let that roll at about 400 degrees, five minutes. All right, it's sizzling, it's beautiful. It smells amazing and that's what it looks like so far. It started to get a little bit brown. It's been in there for 10 minutes at 400 degrees. I'm not mad at it. Now I'm gonna let it go for a little bit longer. I'm gonna keep watching the skin because I don't wanna cover it up actually. I want it to roast a little bit more. Um, you can cover it up if you feel like everything is getting a little bit dry or it's cooking way too fast or the, the skin is browning too much or the spices, you know. So check on it. Put your timer on 15 minutes or so. You know, there's lots of things you can do. Wandering around the house and doing laundry and things and you forget yeah, make sure you put that timer on and at least you'll remember go check on that chicken okay you won't have a big burnt mess on your hands back in the oven now I'm turning the oven down to about 370 75 degrees just because I want it to cook a little bit faster tonight I'm hungry and 
we need to eat. So that's what's going down. It's going down to 375 degrees. This is probably gonna take another 45 minutes to 50 minutes. It's gonna take just over an hour maybe, hour to just over an hour for this whole thing to be done. So just sit tight, you're in for the long haul, set the 15 minute timer for a couple times and you're good. This chicken is ready. Check her out. Beautiful. All right. Gorgeous. Let's, um, typically what I would do is I would uh, let this sit for a couple minutes, etc. And maybe I will do that, but maybe not, because I want to eat. So let's hurry up. <clears throat> Okay, so the whole point of roasting it upside down was to keep the breast very moist. And now you have the back skin, which, you know, there's not much here. There's a lot of bone, etc., except those thighs, and they're going to come right off anyway. So you're not really missing out on anything here. But what I want you to do is cut around, and you're going to want to grab that skin off the back because it's nice and crispy and delicious. <clears throat> and then you'll eat the other side. But it's going to be more it's going to be moist skin because it's in this gorgeous juice that's all rendered out of this chicken it's beautiful which i will save as well for something else so check that out oh hot 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 take that skin off and save that to the side at least you can have some extra crispy skin on the side right that's my goal anyway <laughs> We're going to flip this guy over. So we can take this stuffing out. Let me grab a bowl. You have to save the Pope's nose for my mom. She likes the tail. Just saying. A lot of people do. And you might not even realize that that's a delicacy for a lot of people. I like to use a wide variety of utensils. Today I'm feeling these tongs because I can get a better grip on this chicken. This way it's easier to get the stuffing out. That extra skin that came with this chicken on the inside um, really protected that stuffing, kept it nice and moist, and kept it in the bird. Get all that out, that's tasty stuff. Okay, stuffing is out. That's your side dish. Make sure you check out the recipe for that. It's a savory rice stuffing for poultry. It'll be a webisode of cooking like alpha beta pie. Okay, so now I'm flipped over and now I have the most beautiful, beautiful looking, uh, my drumsticks, the meat is just falling off those bones. It's so tender. And this, the juices in this, in this um, dish I can't wait to use that on potatoes or something tomorrow. Oh man. All right, so we're just gonna slice some of this meat off. This breast meat just looks gorgeous. And it's just, everything's just kind of falling away, which is amazing. It's exactly what you want. Now that is moist, moist chicken breast. You don't have to worry about being dry when you, when you roast it upside down, just saying. All this gorgeous white meat. I prefer the white meat on the chicken and turkey all the time. Um, I find that when I'm when I'm making other dishes, though, I like to use <clears throat> the other parts, the dark meat. Um, but I really prefer white meat when I roast a whole um, bird. Uh, but everyone else in the house really enjoys dark meat, so it works out perfectly for me. <laughs> And once you get all the meat off, which I'm not going to do here, um, once you get all the meat off of your chicken, don't throw out that carcass. Throw that in the um, in the freezer in a Ziploc bag, and then whenever you want to make um, soup or stew, you have gorgeous bones that are already beautifully roasted and seasoned, ready to go to make a beautiful stock for a soup. This meat is just falling off the bone. Look at that. 
and I have all this beautiful juice. Check this out. Oh, I couldn't ask for anything better, anything more with this. Delicious stuff. Now I wish I would have made, <laughs> I would have made some more uh, potatoes or rice or something like that on the side. Those wings came off beautifully. Look at all this gorgeous stuff. Now look at that. That's enough for a meal tonight. That's enough leftovers for tomorrow for lunch for people. Or you could probably even eat this again tomorrow night if you wanted to and make it into something else. So there you go. That's a smoked paprika roasted chicken. Let's see what it tastes like. Let's see what this tastes like. Mm. Very moist. Mm. That skin is so tasty. That smoked paprika is really, really great. And I kept it simple with everything else. Just a really nice salt and pepper. Mmm. Absolutely delicious. And I'm, I really hope that you enjoy that crispy skin. Make sure you take it off before you flip the bird because you'll be really upset you got all that beautiful crispy skin all wet. Anyhow, that's how you do it. Moist breast, crispy skin. He stuffed it and everything. So simple. It took about an hour. I turned it down to 350 um, after the first 10 minutes roasting at 400. So that was it. All right. I hope you guys try that experiment with the flavors. Whatever, whatever. All right, everybody. Check out that recipe at, at Cooking Like Alpha Beta Pi on my playlist, or you can check them out at alphabetapie.com. And that's for the savory rice stuffing. All right, everybody. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. I hope you like the fan pages, facebook.com slash cookingwithkimberly. My, my shows are on ifood.tv slash cookingwithkimberly and youtube.com slash cookingwithkimberly. And my site is cookingwithkimberly.com. And that's it. That's all. Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye.